Welcome back to the channel, Fat Boys. Today we're up at Palm Beach Charlie Davidson, and today we are going to go test ride the brand new Pan America. So let's go ahead and roll that intro and start off with some nice B roll of the bike. The brand new Pan America 1250 Special with the brand new Revolution engine comes in at 89.2 inches long with a seat height of 31.8 inches. It has a ground clearance of 8.3 inches while running a 120 in the front and a 170 in the back, having fuel capacity of 5.6 gallons, having an estimated 46 miles per gallon, with a leaning angle of 42 degrees left and right, and coming in at 559 pounds in running order. The brand new engine is the Harley-Davidson Revolution Max 1250, which is putting down 94 foot-pounds of torque at at 6,750 RPM and 150 horsepower at 9,000 RPM. The Pan America is also running 47 millimeter inverted forks with compression, rebound, and spring preload adjustability on the front forks and linkage mounted piggyback monoshock with compression, rebound, and hydraulic spring preload adjustability on the rear shock. The brakes are Brembo brakes. In the front, radially mounted mono block four piston caliber, and on the rear, they are floating single piston caliber you get on here are the 6.8 TFT display with speedometer, gear, odometer, fuel level, lock, trip, ambient temperature, low temp alert, side stand down alert, tip over alert, cruise, range, and tachometer indication, Bluetooth capability, phone pairing to access phone calls, music, and navigation. All in all, this seems like a very exciting bike and in the right direction that Harley Davidson needs to be going. Let's get into the video and see the first ride review. All right, guys, let's get on this Pan America. Ooh. Very tall. <laughs> Tell you what, this sure does feel like an ADV bike. And let's get on to it. And right now, I'm just going to keep it on in road mode. Ooh. Wow, this feels good. All right, so going over the controls, we got the horn, we got the left and right indicator right there, push in to cancel. You got cruise control up here, you got your menu systems, you can go into home. This bike can be connected right into your phone, and you can see everything. You can very clearly see everything on display. I got the sun right behind me, and even with a black screen, I can still very clearly see everything. Downshifting feels really good on this. The rev matching is super easy to do. And the clutch is super easy to maneuver. It's also all completely adjustable. And then the brakes are also completely adjustable. You have your kill switch and your starter switch. And the starter button is just a one push time to go. When you connect to your phone, you got your audio and you got everything right here. You can change your traction control. You also got voice control right in here. This also has adaptive rider height when you're sitting on this. So right now it's actually lowered, but then when we start moving, the bike actually starts to raise up a little bit. So that way when you're going off road, everything is nice and easily right there. For the numbers on this bike, I'm sure plenty of people have heard, which is crazy. And the red line is right at about 9,000 RPMs, which is also much higher than any normal heart Harley Davidson so this is freaking awesome so I can't wait till we get out onto our little open straightaway that he's gonna take us out on so we can really test that out but the handling of this feels really good it feels really nice and planted I can really weave on this bike and it feels like there's no problems super lightweight the balance of this feels really nice Woo! <laughs> this is normal mode. Holy shit, man. Even engine braking on this bike feels pretty good. It's super smooth. It actually doesn't sound half bad for being completely stocked and clogged up. Holy shit. This is a good bike. Fun bike, too. You also saw they have Brembo brakes on here. These do feel like some good brakes on here. You also have the stock adjustable windscreen on here. You got this little lever right there that you can pull in and out for it and the best part to come up you got the little mode button right here and come up to a little bit more of a straight part i'm gonna switch it on into sport mode and have a little bit of fun i have seen people do some wheelies on this thing bone stock which is crazy <laughs> so roll off throttle sport mode oh man 
this shit feels good over all these things. See it right there, that little flashing right there is telling you that it's on having the adaptive rider height, which is super nice. Woo, sport mode's a lot more peppy. Woo, holy shit, I got the wheel up a little bit. <laughs> this bike feels amazing. It handles really well. It handles like any, a like any ADV bike you should expect. It has a good ride height actually for an ADV bike and I love the adaptive suspension on it. It handles really well, flicks super well. This is a very nimble bike. There's no play in this. This feels super planted and honestly, Harley is taking a step in the right direction by doing this. Harley, good job with this, like seriously. Yeah, this bike moves! Holy sh**! So, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And make sure you go ahead and comment anything that you want else you see in this channel. And make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe and make sure you ring that bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.